Hello my soccer universe. Well, we have the first review after the Corona break uh, to talk about how the games went and we will talk about the Bundesliga but also the second Bundesliga uh, there. I am wearing my Hertha Hurt jersey. Sorry, this was just too much. It's probably my favorite jersey of the Bundesliga jerseys that I have and it's one of the favorite jerseys I have in my collection to be honest. Although I don't have much connection with Hertha but yeah. It's a great jersey, absolutely a great jersey, and Hertha did well this weekend, so good reason to pull it out once more. Um, now that I'm recording, I don't know the result of the evening game, however, I will then uh, add this on uh, in a little bit tomorrow morning, put it together, make a huge video. Let's look at the results uh, and that's the other thing is I just saw that my resource where I was usually copying the results just vanished <laughs> in a way they changed the format so let's see what the result in what way I will present the results to you in the video but you will actually see them now I think on this side you will uh, see them so first one Dortmund Schalke the big one was not the big one. The one thing that, I mean, generally, I watched the uh, five uh, Saturday afternoon games uh, kind of in the conference, you know, with the switching back and forth. And the big thing was that it took a long time that anything got going, um, that you finally get the goal. There were some near calls, but it kind of felt it needed a little bit to get rolling. Uh, it was kind of a, it was kind of, kind of a slow start. Um, once it got rolling, the games actually looked all right. And once you got used to the fact that you don't hear uh, you don't hear spectators, but you hear kind of this echoey sound of the players, which actually me being able to speak German, you still don't understand much because there's so much echo going on that it's not quite what you want. Uh, I did not use the can stadium atmosphere because that would feel not right. And I honestly have to say. Uh, I then started playing cards with the kids and so on and once the household noise overpowered the noise at the games it didn't feel all that different to be honest. Yes, when there's a shot of the stadium, yes, it's empty and my girls immediately uh, pointed that fact out but other than that, was not all that uh, crazy. The first goal was scored then in Dortmund and who was it? Erling Haaland uh, in the 29th minute and his celebration of course was acceptable with po proper social dist distancing and Rafael Guerrero after a nice assist uh, in the 45th and uh, added a second or put Schalke really on the back foot. Uh, Schalke I think had a couple of chances but it was mostly all Dortmund who then continue another assist by Azar uh, puts um, Brandt puts Ozar on the board who is celebrating in front of the empty yellow wall and Guerrero adds a fourth and it has to be said this was pure destruction. It also fit with Schalke. Schalke in German is Schalke 04. That's exactly the result that they got. Uh, 4 Dortmund is 09. So there need to be a lot more goal score. But this was pure domination by Dortmund. It has to be said. Uh, the surprising result of the afternoon came in Leipzig, where Leipzig totally dominated proceedings against Freiburg. Uh, but a crazy goal by Freiburg gave them the lead. And then it took many, many attempts by uh, Le Leipzig. They had eight shots on goal as opposed to Fre Fre Freiburg 1 and 22, um, you know, towards goal but not on goal against six by Freiburg. Total dom dom domination, but they cannot find the goal except for use of pass left and assist by Campbell. Then gets in the 77th the equalizer. They are pushing forward to get the win, which would have been vital. But uh, Freiburg actually scored the winner, but it was taken off. Yes, I think it was the correct call. Uh, but I would not have been surprised if the goal would have stood too. So Leipzig dropping again points, and uh, as, as you will see, go getting out of the race. Now Hertha against Hoffenheim was a kind of evenish game and then around the hour mark Hertha scores two first and on goal and then Ibisevic who scores I think since 2006 in every calendar year he scored a goal 
that's a pretty good statistic and Cunha then on the side runs through makes it 3-0 this was not the big talking point after the game the big talking point after that game is that the celebrations at the Hertha players who already had this uh, scandal touched each other with hands hugged each other you know emotions showing and people didn't like it but they did not get punished which I think is all right I would warn them but uh, please be more careful the next time um, Another crazy game was Düsseldorf against Paderborn, or Fortuna against Paderborn, I should say. Really huge game for Paderborn, because if they would have won that one, they got the first win of the season against Düsseldorf. Uh, this would have put them, had, would have given them a lifeline, let's put it that way. Uh, but it was all Düsseldorf, except that Düsseldorf kept hitting the post three times. Uh, and the one where Berisha hits the bar and then it goes off the back of the goalkeeper and falls right in front of the line where the goalkeeper can get it. It was kind of crazy, but in the end, uh, Paderborn even could have won it totally against the run around play, but uh, I think it was Adeji uh, pulled it wide. And then augsburg Wolfsburg weird jersey. I didn't expect Augsburg to play in black. Those were some special jer jerseys. was a rather even game where almost a penalty was given for Wolfsburg, but um, you know, it came from the thigh on the hand. was the right call to not give it. Um, but Wolfsburg in the end gets the 1-0 just before the um, halftime. Paolo Otavio, former last player, uh, gives the assist to Renato Steffen. Then uh, Jedwai can equalize. It was also a kind of a crazy goal. I think it went against the bar. Maybe in, maybe not, but Jedwai heads it in. Give it to him. And uh, then they, all, they actually thought that they had um, a goal scored. The, uh, the go-ahead goal scored, but it was taken away because of a clear offset position there was, I think, the correct call. Um, and then after a great assist by Mbabo Ginczek in the stoppage time, gives gets the win to Wolfsburg, who this was kind of a lucky win, I have to say, um, did not all look that great to go by. Um, the evening game, Frankfurt Gladbach, where everyone said this might, might might be the best game uh, of the bunch on Saturday. No, it was all by seven, after seven minutes. Player in the first minute already gets the 1 0 Turam after a really nice uh, assist by Ben Sabaini, makes it 2 0. Um, Frankfurt then tries and tries. It looked all rather um, wooden in a way. Frankfurt was not on the field and then. Uh, Penalty, relatively cheap penalty was given. Uh, ben Sabaini makes it 3 0. Andre Silva, though, puts one back. The scene of the game was when Hinteregger cleared on the line uh, in really crazy fashion. Uh, there the, the was a clear shot, and he just stretches and can uh, avoid the fourth goal, but Frankfurt can just not get back into the game. The, uh, weird also the jerseys on that one, I have to, I have to say I didn't expect Gladbach to play in blue with dark shorts. Now for Saturday, I actually was about to not watch, I said I'm gonna take, you know, gonna take the girls out for, for a walk, but um, we did it early enough that when we came back, yes, I promised them that we play cards. But I put Köln against Mainz on, and boy, this was a really enjoyable game. I mean, the first uh, action that I saw, there was a penalty for Köln given 1 0. Then it was all Mainz. Mainz really, really uh, putting the pressure on Köln, but Köln hanging on. Um, and shortly after the break, Kainz makes it 2 0, and I'm thinking, yeah, Köln is well on the way. And you know, Köln is one of my fav favorite teams there. It was just not really to be uh, Avoni. Uh, gets the cuts the lead in half, uh, makes it um, two one in the sixty first, and I thought hey, this could be a long way to go. And eleven minutes uh, later, Pierre Conde in a goal that he seemed to run only straight. Maybe there was a slight touch here, here, here and there, but he ran straight through the defense of Köln and makes it two two. Köln could have found the winner. There were there were good chances, but in the end, it ends two two. I think the result is fair enough. Uh, my leanings uh, aside. And then the evening game, that I did not really watch. Uh, I mean, a little bit of the first half, but I didn't expect Bayern to do anything at Union. When I saw the jersey match of, yes, I expected Union in red, but come on, those Bayern jerseys are boring as you know what. Um, Müller 
seemingly had taken the lead but was given offside. This is one of those where I think in if before VAR, this probably is called Volt have stood, uh, when I saw it, I thought that he was a little bit ahead, so it was a good offside um, call, I think. Um, penalty scheme, I have to say, is so, so which he didn't want to foul, uh, but I think, who was it actually? Whoever, whoever else was running past him, I think it was Kimmich, but I am not. Uh, running past, but past him, it was a clear foul, he knew it, uh, it was just not on purpose. Lewandowski slots it home, Bayern then is still the better team. Not a very mature, super performance, there were some nice moves. But in the end, a workmanlike win, that's what you want if you're Bayern. And yeah, it ends 2-0 uh, for them after, I think Pavar after a really nice corner kick, uh, heads it in, only, only had one chance, but exactly what I would have expected. Well, Bremen against Leverkusen went the way everyone would expect. I hear there are some misgivings in Bremen, kind of saying, yeah, we could start later with training because, you know, Bremen is its own, uh, how to say, state within the German Federation, city state. So, yeah, um, it's not a happy situation uh, there. At least that's why they actually started on um, Monday and not with the others to kind of give them a little bit more time but of course it's uh, more or less a compromise. The game needed some time to get going but Leverkusen through a header by Kai Havertz gets the lead in 28 two minutes later uh, after corner kick Gabriel Selassie gets the equalizer also through a header but then three minutes later Kai Havertz puts Leverkusen in front again with the header it was all headers in the first half and then uh, Leverkusen just rolled over uh, Bremen and scored two more goals in the second half through Weiser and Demir Bay. Um, we already know that Havertz is one of the best players around. Leverkusen is in great form. Uh, so I actually wouldn't be surprised if Leverkusen suddenly will end up in the Champions League again. If you look at the table now, um, Bayern is still four points ahead, Dortmund also there, so that uh, remains with the status quo. Um, but Leipzig now uh, dropped one below Gladbach, who also got a win. And I have to say, it feels like, although Leipzig played well, that these again dropped points and this will eventually cost them. And I have my feelings that Leipzig will not become champions. They're probably even in danger that Leverkusen gets in there. Uh, Wolfsburg moves up in sixth, as, and Freiburg also moves ahead of Schalke. Uh, and then Hoffmann, Köln, yeah, there's a lot of status quo. It's now Hertha who leapfrogs Frankfurt and Berlin to uh, Union, I should say, to be in 11th spot. Um, and on the bottom of, of, of the table, yeah, uh, Bremen has a long way out. Uh, it is to the relegation spots. It's five points. No, it's actually, yeah, it's five points, but with a game in hand against Frankfurt, that's might help, but it's still a long way to go, I have to say, and I fear for uh, Bremen a little bit. Now let's look at the second Bundesliga, where, you know, I'm only concerned now with uh, promo promotion. I could go on deep, deep dives and whatsoever, but uh, it would be, <laughs> uh, be beyond the scope of this channel. I'm really taking the top leagues and then we can look at it who gets in there. Um, it was actually a weird uh, match day for the teams that are thinking about getting promoted. First of all, uh, the leaders Bielefeld had to concede very late at home to uh, Osnabrück and it ends only 1-1. Uh, there, but it did not matter much because Hamburg uh, also had a 2-1 lead in the 40-48 minute. I mean, they had to come uh, from, from, from Bayern. But again, in stoppage time, Kreuterfurt can equalize. But this was a way, um, a way win. Uh, so they don't win. And then to top it of all, Stuttgart against Wiesbaden. <sighs> Stuttgart is can be frustrating at times. They get the late equalize uh, through Gonzalez and then in the 97th minute they give up a penalty and uh, it ends 2-1 for lowly Wiesbaden. And you remember in the um, preview I said this is a must win for Stuttgart. Nope, 
nothing like that. Uh, interestingly, Heidenheim in fourth place loses 3-0 at Bochum, so all the top four teams did not win. Uh, but Kreuterfurt at least moves a little bit closer. So if you look at the table, Bielefeld still clearly 52 points ahead of Hamburg, 45. Stuttgart only, also 45 and Hamburg is now ahead of Stuttgart. Stuttgart in a relegation spot. Uh, yes. Tough, tough, tough times. Heidenheim at for 41 and Kreuterburg Fürth at 37 and uh, Aue also 37. So that's the top. Uh, there is of course a game that was postponed between Hannover and Dynamo Dresden. We talked about it. Uh, that was the first weekend after the Corona crisis. It might come again. I'm not saying that it's all over. There's also some really disturbing news in Austria, unfortunately, involving my team, Lusk. Um, who were caught on camera and that's the first thing someone broke in and installed a camera and then filmed them as they're having a full contact session when it's not allowed because you can only have two meter distance between and they should be in small groups uh will probably cause luck to get point, a points deduction i think personally but i'm a fan that um hefty fine should be sufficient, but as everyone is calling for uh, severe, severe pun pun punishment, uh, which could also lead to ex expulsion from the league, and, and somebody think they would not go down that route, that uh, there will be a points deduction probably to the point where Lask is not in first place anymore. Uh, the team said, yeah, they were testing every day, blah, blah, blah. No, one, no one's health was harmed. We wanted to do it because we felt the if we have now the schedule in Austria will be, will be brutal with two games every every week. They felt that there was a high risk of injury, so they need to have a full training session. Ugh. To be honest, they did something stupid. Um, now it's and I don't want to use that word. Now I, I I will not use the word, but you know everyone is now against Lusk. Um, I have to say my first reaction was yeah, that sucks. Second reaction was. I'm not sure that they are the only ones who really followed all, all the rules. I just cannot believe that they just didn't get caught. And the third thing is, um, yeah, as much as I hated the paid Patriots back then, but you know, with uh, this little gamesmanship and so on, this is actually you're on the right track. Yes, you're caught. Maybe you get punished now. But in the end, this might pay off further down, down the road. Fortunately, all the credit that Lusk had from the neutral fans is now more or less gone. Um, I find it a little bit more hysteria than anything else. But then again, uh, I'm a fan, so I'm not exactly neutral. Let, let me know what you think about it. Also, let me know if you watched the Bundesliga, how you thought the empty stadiums, how this feel felt. How did it feel to watch soccer again? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.